The overall goal of this procedure is to utilize the Drosophila model system to correlate behavioral outputs with changes in neural architecture. This is accomplished by first setting up population cages of adult Drosophila to collect larvae. The next step of the procedure is to assess locomotor ability of late second to early third instar larvae. The third step is to assess the feeding behavior of the larvae by observing the extension and retraction of their mouth hooks. The final step is to dissect and prepare proventricular samples from late third instar larvae using immunohistochemical techniques. Ultimately, results can show how aberrations in neural architecture during development relate to behavioral changes through the combined use of behavioral assays and immunofluorescence microscopy. The implications of this technique extend towards a better understanding of the development of neural architecture, which allows one to better understand the progress of neurological diseases. Demonstrating the procedure will be Parag Bhatt, a graduate student in my laboratory. Maintain Drosophila population cages at 25 degrees Celsius on a 12-hour light-dark cycle. As long as the control and experimental groups are exposed to the same lighting conditions, then this technique can be performed in a standard laboratory setting. Using established populations, collect larvae by allowing females to lay eggs overnight on apple juice agar plates. Change the plate in the morning and place a small dollop of yeast in the center of the collected plate the yeast will attract the hatched larvae. Allow the eggs to develop for 24 hours at 25 degrees Celsius, and on the next day, collect the first instar larvae from the paste using a metal spatula. Transfer the larvae to a fresh apple juice or grape juice plate.